guys, I hope you're enjoying the game. I'm Sloan. And I'm Carl. We're here at Imagination Station. We've got a cool experiment that you can do at home. Check this out. We're gonna do something called elephant's toothpaste. And what you need is some hydrogen peroxide, about a teaspoonful of yeast, and throw it in a container, and then add about, oh, six ounces of water or so. So we'll mix that up, and we're gonna let that sit for a bit. We can start adding our other stuff, though. We can add okay. the hydrogen peroxide. Now, how much should I add? Oh, we'll fill it up about an inch and a half, right to that first little ridge on the bottom of the bottle. That's okay. pretty good. So if we add a little soap, All that'll right. help make the foam and catch our oxygen atoms. Perfect. Okay, it's been about five minutes, and I think our yeast mixture is ready. Before we add it, we're gonna put our safety glasses on. All right, you ready? Yes. Here we go. Three, two, one, just pour it right into the container, and Bubbles, bubbles filled with oxygen gas are gonna start streaming Cool, very out. cool. Ooh, it feels kind of warm. Well, we used warm water for the yeast mixture and the reaction is exothermic, so it does give off a little bit of heat. Very cool. Now, Carl, I like your version of elephant's toothpaste, but I think next time we should try my version. Okay, what do you got? Well, you'll just have to see. All right, Carl, so I'm all set up here with my version of elephant's toothpaste. And you know that 3% hydrogen peroxide that you got down at the drugstore? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this stuff is 35% concentration wow. of hydrogen peroxide, so you don't want to get your hands anywhere near these flasks. Oh. Now, I've already added my soap, and then I've also added some colors because we love the Harlem Globetrotters. We have red, white, and blue here. Cool. And I'm going to have our extreme scientist, Leah, come in. And she has sodium iodide, and it's going to do the same job as the yeast did in your experiment. It's going to cause our reaction to happen. So okay. if each of us wants to grab two of these containers, All so right. maybe we'll do a countdown from five. Are you ready? Yep. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Pour, and then step back. Cool. Whoa. You can see it releases this tremendous amount of heat if you put your hand over it here. And it just kind of keeps oozing and oozing and oozing as that sodium iodide continues to react with the hydrogen peroxide. For more information about this experiment or to try the at-home version, go to www.imaginationstationtoledo.org.